a bunch of woodworkers on YouTube have gotten together and posed a challenge to make a kitchen utensil. I chose to make a, a, a nice cutting board, a little bit different style than what you would normally see, I guess. I went with kind of a chevron shape to it, and I used some spalted maple, some cherry, some walnut, and some ash to do it. So come right along and I'll show you how I made it. Okay, now we'll let that dry. Okay, this has been drying for a few hours now. We'll go ahead and get this out of the clamps. I have my miter gauge set to 15 degrees. I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to cut strips right on my fence. Because I cut them on a table saw, they're not going to be completely glue ready, so I'm going to have to take these strips and just lightly, lightly shave them on the uh, joiner to actually joint those edges so they can actually come together. You can see there are some gaps when I push them together. So I'm going to move on to the joiner and do some quick shaving and fitting. 
nice, good, tight joints. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and glue them up and I'm actually gonna alternate them to give them a chevron style pattern. So I'll let it sit in the bin for about 15 minutes and get a good soak of mineral oil. And then I'll uh, apply some beeswax mineral oil mixture to the, sur the surface of it. mineral oil beeswax mixture. When it's melted like this, it'll actually soak into the grain a little bit. And then I'll let that dry. It'll leave kind of a, uh, kind of a satin film on the outside that I'll have to wipe off with a little excess. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. I really enjoyed making this.